As we all know, our Earth does not move randomly or alone through the universe, but is an integral part of a superordinate constellation, which in our case, we call the solar system. The eponymous host star serves the eight planets and their moons, but also the dwarf planets, other small bodies like comets, asteroids, and meteoroids, as well as the totality of all gas and dust particles as a central fixed point to which all these entities are gravitationally bound. A look over the walls of the galactic baseball stadium shows that the cosmic variety of such systems is significantly larger than many would assume at first glance. In fact, our home solar system is only one of many possible compositions of gravitationally bound celestial bodies. Just how manifold these cosmic assemblies can be in reality was reinforced by terrestrial experts when they identified some time ago an unusual star system, one that puts everything so far known to shame. What unexpected constellation the astronomers stumbled upon and what different star systems we have been able to discover in the universe so far, you'll find out in today's video. Do you get excited about the groundbreaking discoveries and spectacles in the universe? Then remember to subscribe to our channel and click the bell for regular updates on these compelling topics. By giving us a thumbs up, you're showing us that we can keep you engaged with the content of our videos. Cosmic Quartet As we mentioned at the beginning, our home solar system is characterized by the influence of a single, massive celestial body. The fact that such glaringly bright formations come together gravitationally, sometimes in the form of a double star system, has been known in the ranks of experts for a long time. Indeed, the existence of so-called quadruple star systems, composed of two separate double star pairs, has been proven in the past. The fact that the corresponding star constellations are surrounded by an enormous ring of gas and dust, a so-called protoplanetary disk, is also part of basic astronomical knowledge. To understand the characteristics of such a multiple constellation, it's worth taking a look at the star system HD 98800, which is located about 146 light years away from our blue home planet. And indeed, for a long time, it seemed as if the corresponding collection of celestial bodies would show the common properties of known quadruple star systems. However, a detailed study of the surrounding protoplanetary disk provided the insight that HD 98800 is one of the most unusual formations that experts have discovered in the recent past. In detail, the system consists of an outer and an inner pair of double stars. The inner pair, which has been named BABB, is separated by a distance roughly equal to the distance between the Earth and the Sun. The two outer stars, named AAAB, are much further apart. In detail, the galactic gap that prevails between the two celestial bodies is quantified to 54 astronomical units, or AU for short. To explain, one AU corresponds to the approximate average distance between our terrestrial home and the Sun, or approximately 90 million miles. In other words, the outer pair of stars is much farther apart than the Sun and remote Pluto. The distance between the former member of our planetary system and its host star is only 40 AU. So, while the gigantic distance that prevails between the two outer stars already leaves us open mouth, it becomes all the more interesting when we take a closer look at their more interior counterparts, or the protoplanetary disk that surrounds them. An Unusual Alignment Typically, a protoplanetary disk is always on a plane that corresponds to the orbital plane of its two stellar hosts. However, as scientists now realize, this commonly used scheme cannot be applied to the case of HD 98800, because in fact, the protoplanetary disk here is practically perpendicular to the plane of the inner pair of stars. Within the scientific community, such a constellation is called a polar configuration. In simple terms, this means that the disk does not run in an east-west direction, but rather in a north-south direction. To visualize this fact, we can imagine the inner pair of stars like a horse carousel at a fair, rotating around a common horizontal center. The outer protoplanetary disk, however, would have the rotating characteristics of a Ferris wheel in this metaphor. 
before the unusual properties of HD 98800 could be proven conclusively. Such cosmic systems existed only in theory. How profound the discovery is in the overall galactic context becomes clear to us when we keep in mind that protoplanetary disks are where planets are born. Given this background knowledge then, it's not surprising that after their groundbreaking discovery, experts were immediately eager to find out whether planets could also form in those disks that have such an unorthodox orientation. The fascinating research results? Despite this strange configuration, valid features were detected in HD 98800 that clearly point to an early phase of planet formation. How the further development of the celestial bodies will take shape in the future, however, is still literally written in the stars. So, experts cannot predict at present to what extent the planets can form permanently within such a seemingly chaotic system and ultimately stabilize at all. So, although there are still many mysteries to be unraveled regarding this fascinating constellation, leading astronomers are already certain that we will find many more such cases in the future. Consequently, the next challenge for scientists will be to identify the corresponding systems at various stages of their evolution. The discovery of fully formed planets in such systems could be another astronomical milestone. Binary Stars in view of this exciting discovery, it's advisable to take a more general look at the fascinating binary star systems. Often the corresponding celestial bodies are so close to each other that they appear to us from our terrestrial point of view merely as a single star. Since the bright celestial bodies are gravitationally bound to each other, they form a physical unit, which means that they rotate together around a common center of gravity. While one might initially assume that the gravitational merger of two stars is an extremely rare occurrence, the facts are actually quite the opposite. According to current estimates, 70% of all stars in the Milky Way are part of a superordinate binary system. If another star or stars join this galactic collection, it would be called a multiple star system. Within the classification of double stars, experts differentiate various types. The case just described, in which the celestial bodies are gravitationally bound due to their spatial proximity and orbit a common center of gravity, is called a physical binary star. Opposite to this are the optical binary stars, which in simple terms are just galactic fallacies. According to this, some stars, seen from the Earth, appear as if they were in almost the same direction in the sky. In reality, however, these apparent binary stars are so far away from the Earth that they do not influence each other gravitationally. Finally, the cosmic squadron of star pairs is completed by the geometric binary stars. These are celestial bodies, which are relatively close to each other, but because of their high relative velocities, they are not bound. While physical binary stars rotate steadily around a common center of gravity, the encounter of geometric binary stars is a unique event. Binary Stars and Their Planets Typically, physical binary stars are composed of a brighter main component and a fainter companion. The orbital periods that prevail within this system differ drastically depending on the distance between the stars. While pairs of stars very close to each other sometimes take only a few hours for a complete orbit, in more extreme cases, it takes several millennia. Those celestial bodies orbiting each other at a greater distance interact with each other only slightly. However, if the distance between the stars is so small that the so-called Roche limit is exceeded, a mass transfer between the radiating bodies often occurs. In some constellations, the prevailing distance is again so small that the stars eventually merge into a common envelope. Planets can also exist in binary star systems. Basically, different types of planetary orbits are distinguished. Those exoplanets assigned to the S-type draw their orbits around only one representative of the pair of stars. The corresponding planets are practically not influenced at all by its counterpart because this is either too far away from them or too low in mass. The situation is different in the case of P-type planets. Such exoplanets, which orbit the double star system from far outside, as if there were only one star, are called circumbinary planets. It can happen that within a binary star system, there are zones for S as well as P-types. The exoplanets can coexist despite their different planetary orbits. In the recent past, more and more exoplanets have been identified in binary systems. Even Alpha Centauri, the closest binary star to Earth, 
is home to several planets, according to our current knowledge. The fascinating thing? Some of these celestial bodies are considered red-hot candidates when it comes to the question of the theoretical existence of extraterrestrial life forms. Basically, experts reach the surprising realization that binary stars are accompanied about as frequently by exoplanets as single stars are. Your opinion interests us. What do you think about the fascinating double star systems and the extraordinary protoplanetary disk in HD 98800? Just write us your thoughts, feedback, and suggestions about today's post in the comments. Finally, feel free to take a look at the other exciting videos on our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the images in the credits now. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.